Hey, welcome to this is the first time I'm gonna be doing a video like this, but uh, this is a very important video to do it with. Uh, so E3 the trailers are coming out, sh shit's happening. A uh, very, very big, important trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 just came out. E3 trailer shows worlds, but also shows a lot of story elements too. So I'm gonna just go through the trailer because I've seen it once before. Um, I'm not gonna go through it all at once. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna analyze it. So I'm gonna play it and then talk about what I see. So here we go. If you want to see the trailer in full without any pauses, go watch that first and then come back. But if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, you probably already seen it, so. Don't have to worry about that. So, let's play it. All right. So, first things first. I didn't. Even, I didn't even get to read this when I first watched it. So I'm gonna read it now. The light is gathering together. Hearts driven by one oath, one purpose. I can't even tell what that begins to mean. Um, the light is gathering to get. I mean, obviously. It feels like it's a very, I mean, this game is going to be very final. Very, like, this is the last of the series, at least for Sora's story. So this is what even that phrase makes it feel like. Hi. It's cold! Guess he's too used to the beach. Hey, Islander, uh. what can I say? Huh? Look! Even the sea's turning to ice. Wow. So, boom, right there. Um. So, Frozen's world. We already got that. Boom, nailed it. We're in Frozen. And we arrive right at the part of the movie where she accidentally freaks out with her magic. And she's all like, oh, I gotta run away. And then this is, this is where we're at. So... There's no before or after, it's that part of the movie. Yeah. Also, also, I just want to say the fucking game looks amazing. Because, like, what, like, getting into the Pixar worlds that we're seeing and the, and the Disney worlds that have, like, the humanoid 3D characters, um, they look basically exactly like the movie. It's, it looks amazing. So, like, you could tell really with, the Frozen World and and Tangled and all those worlds. It looks so good. It's so exact. It's amazing how technology, like how far technology has gone with video games. A walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello. Olaf. Also, um, I'm gonna point this out. We finally have uh, English dubbed. Cause I uh, I don't know about the la the monsters uh, monsters Inc trailer I didn't pay attention too much to it it was awesome but um I don't even think th I think everything everything before this point has been Japanese because they haven't had gotten the American voice actors to do things yet now we we have American voice actors it's dubbed we're all, we're there we're getting there it's awesome Ralph, are these your friends hmm? nope never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's oddly spiky. Yeah. So nice little frozen power. So I, I'm, I don't understand what the how the powers are happening. Like there, there's just a lot of the controls are gonna be insane because there's just a lot of powers, a lot of different things going on. Like the those transformation powers, they're I think they're gonna be related to the dry form, like that. No, because that's gonna be. Fuck. All right. So let me clear my head. All right. So everything's gonna be together. All the mechanics from every game is gonna be together. So you got you know your regular mechanics from one and two, and then you're gonna have your uh, mechanics from Birth by Sleep, as you can tell by the um, aiming thing, and then. You can see how your menu bar thing shows. I, I can't I can't remember the name, but those uh, those transformations that you go through. Um, but I feel like there's going to be some sort of version of the dry form, and I feel like some of those powers that is getting shown is that, or maybe not. Maybe we're not getting that. Uh, but I feel like that is some form of it. I could be wrong and maybe some somebody already has more ideas about that than I do. But 
uh, and then we also have dream drop distant powers, you know, using the dream meters and jumping off walls and shit. So it's, it's going to be a very intense game, but there's also gonna be like 5 million more heartlesses because of how much, how many powers you have and how big they are. Give me strength. Also, I hope the worlds are a little bit longer than the other games and they're obviously going to be bigger because PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and all that. I was going to say just PlayStation 4, but I forgot. Oh, wait, it's third party now. It's still weird to me. <laughs> now, we got a Wreck-It Ralph power, you know, summon. Uh, I don't know if we get the summon because we go through the Wreck-It Ralph world. Probably not. The summons are usually not... Usually just like, oh, we weren't able to put this whole world in this game, so let's have a summon that looks like it's from... Uh, well, actually, no, because we had Genie as a summon as well. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe there is a Wreck-It Ralph world that they're not showing, but that summon might be a uh, spoiler or like a tease for that world, and they're just not showing it. That would be pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah. Ha. Fucking yo-yos. So obviously, Gummy Ship has come back. And from the looks of it, it's very its very much the Kingdom Hearts 2 Gummy Ship segments. Uh, you got your basic ship, you got your twin ships, and you're on a... Star Fox esque. Well, Kingdom Hearts One is way more Star Fox than Kingdom Hearts Two was. It's very it's just an unreal shooter part. And then you know, camera turns to your side or your back, and you shoot wherever. This is very much just a very good looking Kingdom Hearts Two version. I don't think it doesn't look like anything else has changed. But maybe some extra powers or some shit. Now, I want the the gummy ship builder to be better because it was kind of a pain in the ass in two. So hopefully they could uh, make that cool. <gasps> so now this point of the trailer is where story comes in. So there's a bunch of gameplay shit. Now here's some story. There's gonna be a lot of discussion on this part, um, and a lot of this is where all the fan theories are gonna be coming from, from like not just me, but from like everyone. It's amazing. You can control ice. Control it? No, all I ever do is hurt people. This is my home now. I can't go back. I don't want to hurt anyone. Herc! <laughs> also, I, I didn't, uh, at first, I didn't really like the song, uh, this song for the Kingdom Hearts series, but I'm kind of growing to it. And I feel like there's going to be more of a uh, upbeat, like, how Sanctuary and Passion done, did it, where there's an upbeat version, and then there's the slow credits version. I, f I feel like there might be, hopefully there might be, like, an upbeat version of this it's for, like, the intro, and then this version is for the ending. Or not. I don't know. The songs, that's that song is not, yeah, it's a song for the game, but it's not, um, it doesn't show up anywhere else but the intro and the outro, so it doesn't impact the game at all. Look out! So obviously they're still in development because uh, you're seeing um, that like cuts, there are certain cutscenes where like that was just voices. Now I don't know if they just took out the sound effects so you could hear the song uh, because that could also be it. But I, I thought that was an interesting choice. Either it's still in development or they did that. <laughs> I mean, obviously still in development, but whatever. See, look, look how good that looks. Like, that is 100% exactly the movie Tangled. Like, that's the exact animation. It looks so good. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. The other Twilight Town is just data. So, 
talking about Roxas. Um, I feel I don't know if there's gonna be a story element where, because why would why would they point out Roxas in the trailer if he's not gonna be a pivotal part of the story? Maybe, uh, just like how Re- Sora released the hearts in Kingdom Hearts One with Riku's Keyblade. Maybe there's a uh, he's somehow gonna get Riku out of there. Um, you know. Not Riku, uh, Roxas. Maybe he'll get Roxas out of there, cause, or he he's gonna be s- pivotal in some way. There's why why would you add that in the trailer? And obviously Twilight Town is getting, making a comeback, cause that's ever since uh, Castle Oblivion, Twilight Town has been a very big thing. Um, and then talking about how the other Twilight Town is just data. Uh, um. Why why put that in there too? Uh Like cuz we, we never like even throughout all of Kingdom Hearts 2, the that was only a point cuz we should show that Roxas was put into that day of the world. And so he lived his fake life. Um and then Roxas found out, destroyed the computer and fucking booked it. Uh And then we never visit again. We never talk about it again no matter even with the games that were chronologically after Dream Drop Distance. Uh, but yeah, so I don't understand why that was a point. There has to be some, I'm trying to think of a reason why we would ever have to talk about that. Unless if it was just giving sore information about rock, like Roxas's past and how maybe he trying to convince Sora that Roxas isn't real because he would it was just data or some bullshit, even though that's totally not true. I don't know. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. All right, so, so she's back, or he, that 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 one, the organization thirteen member. So um, obviously. One, I was I kind of hoping for something a little bit different with enemy wise, but ever since Kingdom Hearts one, uh, organization members have been the main part of the story. Like the entire everything that's fucked up with the world is because of Organization thirteen, and even uh, Kingdom Hearts two shows that Kingdom Hearts one was also related to that because Ansem is uh. The Heartless of Xehanor and then Xemnas is the uh, Nobody or whatever. Um, so even that is still related. You know, it's kind of retcon. But then Final Mix, you fight a uh, organization member. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. But I think, I don't know if Final Mix was made after Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, I don't know really states on that. But so obviously with the time travel power that uh, Xehanort has for some reason. Uh, he's bringing back... I'm, I'm thinking that's why he's able to bring back organization members to do whatever's happening now. Uh, uh, unless there's some sort of uh, reincarnation machine. Um, they they have to explain why they're coming back. Um, even though they did kind of... They did, they did explain it in Dream Drop Distance, but it's still a little confusing because like... Kingdom Hearts 2 was like, oh yeah, we finally defeated Xemnas and all that. But that, it didn't. Kingdom Hearts 2 was kind of, a, like, futile. Like, yeah, we stopped Organization 13. I mean, yes, you stopped the, the Kingdom Hearts from being built for evil shit. But, uh, it's, they're, they're still back and they're still making, they're, re- now, well, I'm assuming because this is going to be the final game in the series. Uh, at least that's what everybody's saying. And that, I think that's what Square says too. Uh, we're gonna have to fight literally all of them, and not Final Mix version where they're just side things, like Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. No, we're literally gonna fight all of them. Like they're all gonna be part of the story, some way, shape, or form. This keyboard. By the way, that's obviously Aqua. 
Is that? Mickey. You're too late. Bam. Huge twist. Um, Now this is where everybody's going to be freaking the fuck out. How and why is Aqua... So, one, this shows that Aqua has been controlled by Xehanort, right? Because this is, you know, this is the co his color eyes. This is what uh, Terra, right? Yeah, Terra, that's his the color of his eyes that changed to when he got possessed. Or, you know, taken control of over. You know what I mean. Um, so, this shows that she's now evil and taken over by Xehanort. Why? Did this happen? How did it happen? I don't know. Uh, it's just a nice little twist to throw. Um, and I, I don't see any... Um, the only way I could think of it is that somehow in his way... In his uh, brain... Brain shit back from the past. he's a, He was able to bring uh, a Xehanort down into the heartless world. And she fell to the darkness type thing. Uh, especially living in that world for so many years. Uh, she, sh she just couldn't help it. And that's why she was a shadowy figure as well. Before she revealed herself. And obviously, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't point this out. Let me see if I could go back to it. Right here. You see Roxas. Not Roxas, fucking Riku. Why do I keep on confusing them? Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, you see Riku there holding his arm kneeled down. Um, so obviously there was a battle that took place. This wasn't just a, oh, that's a thing. They, they fought her. And obviously trying to take her back. And Mickey is in a portal or something. Because if we, again, go over here. That damn it. He's in a portal. I don't know if it's just one of her powers that keeps him trapped, or if he's getting sucked into back to the real world, or what. So, but there's obviously a giant battle that took place, and those two lost. And uh, and she's picking up um, Kim Mickey's original Keyblade, the the magician one. Uh, even though he now has the Kingdom Key. Maybe he was using the the other kingdom key and that one. He was dual wielding. Um, and then, boom. That's so. That's Kingdom Hearts three. Uh, there a lot, and also we finally got a release date of January 29, nineteen. That upsets me. I thought we were gonna get like October, November of this year. And yeah, it's like, oh, well, it's only a month after 2018 ends. Don't get your uh, paintings a bunch. But that's still a whole 29 days after New Year's. And I I thought it was going to be before December even, personally. They just said 2018. I thought it was going to be s somewhat closer to the third quarter than the fourth quarter. At least I was hoping. But even like... If even if it was in December and now it's in January, that's still like you know how many work weeks that is. You know you know how much you know how many times I have to fucking go to work and not be playing Kingdom Hearts three. That's some time. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there's my analysis on the trailer for Kingdom Hearts three. Um, I talked a lot. Uh, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes for fucking three minutes. So you, you got your fucking bane for your buck. So yeah, there you go. Um, there's my fan theory stuff of Kingdom Hearts and just me talking about the game. So can't wait, can't wait for it to come out. And then I'm gonna make some more E3 related videos. So get ready for that.